to a brand new video today now as you can see i've got some goodies in front of me and i would like to share these with you so um let's get to it okay so first things we're going to to show you is we have the cnd additives and these are quite expensive on the cnd website and i'll hopefully link it below so you can actually see for yourselves but i literally got these off facebook there's like selling pages and things and the lady who i got these from uh two pound each so that cost me 14 pounds so it was a bargain and i just wanted to share that with you so always check on your facebook for little bargains like this um that's where i got my hand trainer from for 10 pounds and you know just keep looking out for things that are quite a bargain so this is the first one plum love these can be used um on shellac gel look at that that is gorgeous the sparkle in that these can be burnished in your shellac or gel or you can use these mixing with acrylic and sort of making different colors so that's a nice color the next one is burning amber wow look at the sparkle in that can you imagine that on your nail that'd be absolutely gorgeous we'll do some swatches of these as well so you can see what have we got here steel dreams there's all different ones i think there's some more that you need to get as well so um, i think there's red yellow blue Look at that, that is gorgeous. Well, this is what this lady had. There's your blue. Oh, my shoulder's still quite sore, so that's why I'm finding it hard. Look at that, that is beautiful. See the shimmer in that? So, if, has anyone actually used these? This is Titanium Pearl. Has anyone used these? Um, because if you have, give us a comment down below and let me know what you thought of them. How cool is that? And next one. Okay. wow they're all pretty sparkly which i like and these are gonna look fabulous on your nails and your last one is your bronze blush bronze frost frost yeah wow beautiful i like it so what do you think of these guys have you used them let me know if you haven't we can learn together so also a bargain i picked up i got two of these i think they were 1.99 on ebay and as you can see it is jam-packed full of different crystals um beads thread i think there is there's um i thought there was chains in that but it's not it must be thread how gorgeous is that so that's the silver and it's got like micro beads in there as well lots of different gems and the same goes for that one so they are thread but um look at the diamantes in there and the micro beads so they have, I think about 199 so if i can link this in the description box i will um the price i think is 199 if it's um anything other than that 
obviously it'll be in the uh, description box these are picked up in the range these are perfect to store gems and glitters or if you're just making glitter mixes or acrylic if you're um, making mixes for that they can be used for these mixing with acrylic they can be used for anything you want and you get eight in a pack and they are 99 pence so get yourself down to the range if you've got the range by you and grab this bargain and they are quite good i've got one that's open somewhere yes there we go so you get your lids and obviously your pots and it's as simple as that and there is your container with a lid and they are quite secure they're not flimsy in any way and um they will be perfect for your glitter mixes and things so yeah i made up i found these because you can never have little pots you know when you're mixing something or you want a specific colour or your client wants a specific colour and you've got nothing to mix it in these are perfect for that and um i'm always looking for these anyway so i wanted to share that with you guys also um i went along to sally's and i picked up these your little appointment cards so when your client comes next you can arrange a new appointment and look at that you look very professional i've also picked up appointment um consultant cards sorry um client cards which you fill out every time your client comes to your salon or service and then if i can get one out to show you i will bear with me and i'll be back this is what i was talking to you about nail record card now every salon should have one of these so your client or you can fill it in if you know their details at the top this is your analysis when you look at the and check the nails before you do any service you write down any of these near the codes you need to put down that, that's quite cool isn't it and any comments if you know what treatment they're having and you know any additional information there you wish to do so if you had a child under 16 and parent has consented to you putting gel polish on or acrylics you know sometimes it's a bit of a hit and miss situation you make sure you get a consent from a parent that wants to do that so every parent's different um any reactions from previous treatments and then just put what it is and then what your schedule is for that client if they come in every three weeks every month you know you just write that down there and nail care this is important so you put the date of when your client has come you write down what their treatment was so you just put a set of acrylics how much it cost and your name your technician meaning you and it goes on and on and it's about 10 times and then you change you get them a new card what i would suggest is like um pin this card the full card with the new one so you've got the details constantly you're keeping everything together and it just saves a lot of messing now i need to get a box you know where it's like all in alphabetical order so then it's so much easier and it's filed away 
and it just looks more professional, doesn't it? So yeah, this is what you all seem also need. So I thought I'd share that with you. These were about ten pounds in Sally's. They really weren't. I'm lying. Um, six pounds something, and you get about a hundred um cards. And for these, for your appointment cards, I think they were five pounds something. Now you've got, I think you have um VAT on top of that, but it's a bargain. You've got quite a lot there. I don't have that many clients to be very fair. I have them every now and again when they're wanting the nails done. I don't have an influx of clients where I'm constantly busy. Um, I am trying to grow um, the business by advertising a bit more. But this is like a hobby to me and it's like a second thing that I do, you know, because I do work. Um, but I think, you know, you've got to be professional, especially now I'm a level three. I need to be more professional. I need to know what I'm doing and, you know, keeping in tone with all the policies and things. So it's, it's, it's paramount that you do the same if you're a nail tech and you're doing this day in, day out, um, that you're always covering your own back and protecting your client at the same time. And, you know, you've got to be careful these days and make sure you're insured, which I am. And you've got to cover yourself, guys. So please be aware of that side of things. Not, It's not about pretty nails. As I say, I'm um, trying to give you as much information as possible. So then it's not a big shock if you want to do this type of business. Um, you've got to make sure that you're clean, everything's clean and tidy. Everything um, up there, if I can move my camera up a little bit, is in Barberside. So we just got to make sure everything is clean and tidy. And if I use anything anyway i always spray this this is from sally's as well this is about six pounds something and you do get quite a lot it's a what mill are we on oh yeah 120 i've got two of them because you know at the end of the day we, we want to be clean we want to make sure we're using clean equipment um making sure we're following our policies and procedures of course and you can use that spray for files as well and um, you can use that as well for your hands and nails so you can spray that on your client and yourself before a service so yeah this is just a bit of an insight of what I've actually got I would like to show you the CND um, swatches so let's get to it right we have one already done and with the sticky layer on so i'm going to pick let's pick the blue one this one we're going to put it at the top uh, what brush should we use a lot of people use gel brushes. I don't want to... I'm just going to use an applicator, I think. One of these. Um, hopefully I've got more somewhere. Should have. Aha! wonder where they were hiding. It's going to be much easier to use a couple rather than. There we go, I've got some different ones there. So, I've got one here. It's going to use that blue sparingly and pat it into that sticky layer.
and then burnish that. So then, there you go, you can see it better there, can't you? Um, so yeah, you're just burnishing that in. If you need to add more, then by all means add a little bit more as you go. And there is the blue. That's gorgeous blue. I'll put this top on before it goes everywhere. Because now me, I will drop it or something. Now we just get rid of all of that and as you can see gorgeous now this bit's a bit sticky so you can see the bit going on there so we're going to use steel dreams it's gorgeous um again we're just going to use the applicator Get a bit of that on there, dab it onto the sticky inhibition layer, tap it in, and I'm already in shot, I do apologise. Then again, we're just going to blenish that in. And that is that. That is gorgeous. Again, going to get rid of all that dust. absolutely gorgeous isn't it then we top coat this so we've used the blue I'm going to use air graffiti top coat And that is what it, it does. How gorgeous is that? We're going to pop this in for 30 seconds. Right, we have three others to do. So we're going to move these two out of the way for a moment. I'm going to use these two gorgeous colours. This is your gold. And this one's called, if it focuses there, can you see it guys? And then this one is called, right, I'm going to use this one first. That's gorgeous. I love it. I love anything that sparkles me, I'm terrible. What I'm going to do is, I'm just getting a little bit again. Bring you in closer so you can actually see. Hopefully I'll be in shot. Yes, in shot. So again, we tap in the inhibition layer with the powder. And you're not actually using a lot of this powder which is really good because, you know, these will last you for quite a while. And then, oh, it does not when your doodah comes off, does it? <laughs> and then we blemish that in. Oh, 
We loop it in. Use this one if needed. There we go. Then we will brush off the excess of it all. Um, doesn't help when that falls off, does it? You want to make it as shiny as possible. There's always bits that are missing, so don't worry about that. Um, Just add a bit more as you're going along. Like so. Then we're going to clear all that off and then we'll add the other one. is that that's gorgeous color so as i say i paid two pound for these and they are well worth the money uh, you can do the acrylics with them as well i thought to myself i'll blemish it straight away rather than dabbing it in see if that has any bearings on, on what the results will be like it seems to be a bit better but i will try my best to find these on the cnd website or anywhere that's selling them i'll have a look and link it at the bottom in the description box for you there you go it's not bad and then we add our top coat to that. Let me do that. So then that is put away. Urban graffiti again. Actually, yeah, actually, yeah, that's fine. I think there is a way of doing these um really well i will keep my eye out because i've not really used these really um that's the drawback so before you put it back in your bottle and contaminate the lot get rid of that and we're going to cure this now guys for 30 seconds oh that is nice actually you can see the sparkle in that loving these guys loving them right our next two are burn amber and titanium pearl this is your titanium pearl how beautiful is that you can see it on there gorgeous um i think we need some new applicators. I've got some here. Some new ones. I have pigment powders, um, but they all work differently. Some work on smooth surface, and some work 
on the tacky layer. So it's hard to know what's what with them. Wow, I'm loving this one already. This is your titanium pearl, guys. This is my favourite so far. Don't know about you, but these gorgeous. So we're just going to push that down a bit. Maybe add a little bit more to that nail. This is going on like a dream. It's brilliant. <laughs> it's the best one so far to work with. Wow. Let's... That is beautiful. Imagine the top coat on that. That'd be that be mind blowing. Anyway, that's your titanium pearl. I'm getting that lid on before that goes flying. That'd be nice in acrylic. Can you imagine that in a pink? Oh yes. Um, <laughs> just getting excited there. We are going to be using the burning amber which is that colour. That'd be lovely actually at the bottom. New applicator, tapping it in. And we're just gonna burn that straight in. Seems to be working better than patting it in. See, some of these people that are on the internet, um, I've seen on YouTube as well, they get the big thick brushes and they're putting them on and burnishing it in that way. Um, some people use the silicone tools, but it's preference really, isn't it? I, I prefer the applicators, to be honest. Okay, we're just getting that bit there. Oh, wow. Okay. I'm just going to get rid of that. What do you think, guys? It's lovely. We're just going to, going to put top coat on these. And I'll meet you back. Right, we have one bad boy left. So this is what this is for. This is Plum Love. If I can open it. I am literally covered in these. This is a really shimmery, glittery red. Gorgeous. Right, I think I'll have a new applicator with this one, I think. Because I want to contaminate, contaminate, contaminate the colours that I've already put on onto this. Um, so, here goes. Just going to burnish them in. I'm going to put that over there. Just burnishing this in. You don't really need to press too hard because you're going to end up messing it up. But you want to rub enough for it to work at the same time, if that makes any sense. They are blinking gorgeous. Wow, total different look um, to a polish. And you get that shimmer. I mean, you do get shimmers and stuff in polishes, as you can see. I've got gel polish on, but I'm also covered in the pigment powders. This is absolutely stunning. Now I'm going to put, excuse my arm, 
I'm going to put top coat on while I've got you recorded just to see that shimmer and shine come to life. Wow. I'm just going to hold on to that for a sec. Just clean that brush off. Wow. Can you imagine that on a nice summer's day? I can. Absolutely gorgeous. So I'm going to cure this for 30 seconds. Right, this is the finished result, guys. Now I've put these all in order. So this is these two, which is this. I don't think you see me put the top coat on. Please focus. There you go. You can see the gorgeous colours in, especially the top, the bottom one. Both of them are just as gorgeous. This in the sunlight will be phenomenal. Let's see. It will be stunning in that sunlight. So that's that one. Ooh, one's fallen. And so is that. So these two we did. And this is the result for that. Again, that bottom one is shining different colours. It's hollow by the looks of it. The blue's just as nice. Has a little bit of sparkle in there. But that is gorgeous. We have these, which the result of is this. Again, hollow. In the sunlight, it catches really well. I've just got a light on and you can see the shimmer, but imagine that in the sun. And then our last one that we did stunning look at those colors so these are your c and d additives if you like them um go out and get some yourselves uh, have a look for bargains as i say on facebook or even ebay make sure they are the c and d ones though um yeah so thank you again for watching this video sorry if i've rambled on a bit um i just wanted to show you these as well as obviously show you the the actual powders i wanted to show you how to use them you can use them as well um if you want a multicolor, just burnish different colors on and mix them up that would be a gorgeous nail um so just try and do what you can with them experiment and have fun so i just want to love you and leave you now and say goodbye and i hope you like and subscribe to my channel and also we have a hundred subscribers wow i know that's not a lot for people out there that's got like thousands and but for me that is remarkable i just want to say thank you so keep subscribing to my channel if you've not subscribed and um yeah let's let's try and get to 200 <laughs> who knows um i just want to say thank you guys i love you all and i will see you in my next video bye